Alright guys, you are here with another review and in this video we're gonna talk about Arnold Classic, but this time not the one in Ohio, this time it's gonna be in Australia. It's gonna be more like a rematch, to be honest, a lot of competitors from Ohio. So as you can see, this is the list and there is a bunch of unknown guys, for me at least, I don't know if you know them, but I can see some very well known names and the ones that actually competed in Ohio and so I will do a little video about them. So. Uh, let's start, let's not waste any time, and of course, the uh, favorite, everyone's favorite pretty much to win this competition would be William Bonek. Yes, that's right, that's gonna be William Bonek. He was second place uh, at the Ohio, and not only that he was second, he was actually very, very good. He was on his game, he was very, very good, and this time we're not gonna have Brandon Curry, so nobody is going to challenge him that much except one guy who actually beat him at the Mr. Olympia 2018 and that was Rolly Winkler. So he had about two weeks to get dry, to lose all that water and we did see something like this with Rolly before, right? He used to make tremendous changes in a matter of weeks so it's possible that he can trim down all the water in such a short time and actually win the competition. He can very easily beat Bonac. I mean Bonac is great, he's very very muscular, he is very thick all over, I mean, there, there is a lot of hardness and completeness in his physique, everything is on point, he has legs, he has a very thick back. The only disadvantage that he has is his short clavicles, his narrow shoulders, and that can hurt him a lot, especially against the guy like Rolly. Rolly is very, very wide, and he has those 3D boulder shoulders, so that's gonna be advantage for Rolly, I'm sure he's gonna use it the best that he can. This guy is a veteran, he is not a young guy, he is very very experienced, he's about 43 years old, so he knows his game, he's gonna use his advantages the best that he can, and if he comes dry like he did last year, he's gonna win it, probably, yeah. So it's gonna be probably between him and uh, William Bonek, but if he comes off again, it is possible that Luke Sando may even take second place, or actually he may even win the show if, you know, William comes off again, which is not very common for him, even if he comes off, even when he is off, he's actually better than uh, Luke Sando, and he's off, he's not that bad, he's always very conditioned, so I don't think that that's gonna happen, he's probably gonna be a uh, winner, I mean Bonac, but uh, Sando may take second place. But in my first original, actually the first video of my channel when I made predictions for Arnold Classic Ohio, I said Luke Sanders is gonna take 5th place and most people were like, come on, he's too watery, he's, uh, his skin is too thick, no way, he cannot do it, he will be 7th or 8th or something like that. And so it was bold to say that he's gonna be 5th and he actually turned out to be 3rd. So how unrealistic is it for him to be 2nd or 1st in our Arnold Classic Australia? It's a bold statement, but I think it's possible. Anyways, let's go with the next place. So third place can be very, very controversial, and um, I'm gonna receive probably a lot of criticism for this, but I'm gonna say that it is possible that that's gonna be Josh Lenartowitz. And honestly, I am not a huge fan of his shape, his structure, the balance of his physique, proportions, and that kind of stuff. I am not, honestly. I don't like that, sh that shape a lot. But he's a monster. He's a freak. He is a humongous human being. He is one of the biggest bodybuilders of all time, as a matter of fact, let's be honest. And definitely one of the biggest right now. Potentially the biggest after Big Ramy. And uh, the thing is, he is in Australia, and that's where the competition is held. So he's not gonna travel, he's gonna stay home. For that reason, he's gonna have an advantage, a huge advantage. You know, traveling and all that kind of trouble can make you look watery, and stressed, and you won't have the pop, and you won't have the conditioning that you may have if you had a competition near your house, logically. So he's gonna be much relaxed, his stress levels will be much, much lower. For that reason, you're gonna see an improved version of Josh Lenartowitz, definitely. Now, the thing is, how much fat and the water can he actually trim down in two weeks? Well, if you can look at this post here, he said that he hired George Farah to coach him from USA to Australia. So that's only two weeks, but he definitely decided to trim off that water and to come dry. So that's good enough for me. And if you look at this video here that he filmed when he was on weighings, you can see that his face is promising. He has that face. 
His face definitely looks sucked in, and I think that he's gonna bring very, very good conditioning. And also, you can see the confidence on his face. He's smiling, he's relaxed, he's feeling good. This guy knows he's gonna bring it this time. So he may be third place. Or may even, I don't know, that this is too, too bold to say, but if he nails conditioning, if he comes like this, like he was in 2017 or 2016, even better, he may actually crack the top two or even win the show. It's possible, guys. It's, it's really bold to say something like this, but it is possible. And uh, let's make this exciting. Let's let's believe in something strange. Don't be just, okay, this guy is first. This guy is second because he was first here. This guy was second here, so he's going to be second. And, you know, what, but where is the excitement of that? Let's not be like that. Let's not be calculative. Let's be enthusiastic about this thing. And let's show some excitement, guys. For the love of God. Don't be such a robot. God damn. Anyways, let's go with the next place, the fourth place. In my opinion, yeah, it's probably gonna be Cedric McMillan once again. So Cedric is an old school guy, he knows his business. He never comes completely pilled. When he does, he destroys everyone, but that doesn't happen very often. And if he duplicates the 2016 Iron Classic Ohio conditioning, he may be even better than fourth place. But that's that you know you cannot bet on that because he did not show consistency when it comes to his conditioning so probably not he's probably gonna be a bit watery and for that reason i'm gonna give him fourth place what about the fifth place i will give fifth place to steve kuklo simply because of his conditioning i mean he has everything he this guy he has very complete build but he does doesn't have that wow factor and everybody's expecting that from him we all want to see that wow factor and 3D and that pop in his physique finally, but we just don't see that. We just see, you know, pretty flat, pretty boring physique. But he does bring pretty solid conditioning, so for that reason I give him 5th place. And on the 6th place, I'm thinking we're gonna see a Kim Williams, yeah. If this guy comes dry, shredded, peeled, he will surprise a lot of us. So, I mean, he's very, very complete. If you look at this picture here, he looked pretty close to the champion of Iron Classic. But, you know, his skin is kind of too thick, he's that genetic problem, or he's just too lazy to diet, I don't know what is it, but he never really comes completely dry, so this is what you can expect of him because of his past reputation. And there is another guy who I wanted to mention too, and that's Quincy Winkler. How not to mention him? He's Rolly Winkler's own brother. So, he is definitely on the radar because of that, and because of that only. He doesn't look anything like Rolly. I mean, if you look at his physique, body part by body part, you may see some resemblance. You can see that the shape of his quads, for example, look a little bit similar to Rolly. You can see that shape, that kind of lines. I mean, sure, there are also some similarities when it comes to biceps, like oral arms, but the size is not there, the roundness is not there. Also, I mean, everything is looking kind of similar, but much, much less big, impressive. Actually, I'm not even sure how did this guy turn pro. <laughs> Honestly, he, this physique looks pretty average to me. I mean, this is not nowhere near these other top guys that I just mentioned. So, it is what it is. I just don't want to say that we can see him in the top. He's probably going to be one of the last places among the other no-name guys. So, it is what it is. I mean, maybe, I don't think this guy will ever be something. I mean, not like Rolly. He's probably never gonna reach that caliber. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna try to cover this Iron Classic Australia as best that I can. As far as I know, there will be no live stream, but I'm sure I'm gonna find some footage and I'm gonna post it as soon as I can. So, thank you very much for the following, guys. If you enjoyed the video, again, like it and subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.